Dear chess friends, welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to really one of the most violent and most aggressive and most brutal games that you see in your life. Today we see the fish, the Stallfish 16 chess engine battling it out against another top engine Berserk in really one of the sharpest openings that you can play. Today we see the fish battling it out in the fried liver attack of the Italian opening and the fried liver attack is really an awesome opening. I think uh, you tried it out many times but sometimes I know um, you are having always a good continuation you are on the attacking side but sometimes we miss opportunities sometimes we miss, miss our chances although maybe the evaluation was something like plus two in our favor but uh, you have to really be a beast you have to be really an attacking monster in order to really find the best continuations in the fried liver attack but i think the fried liver attack is of course the perfect opening opening for stoffer 16 look how the fish is playing this opening it's so crazy it's so brutal i would say this is really a really really immortal chess game so let's see now what happened with the white pieces the fish opened with the move e4 its opponent berserk response was e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to c4 the italian opening we have now the two knights defense and now we have the knight attack with the move knight to g5 now comes d5 after e takes d5 the best way of course to proceed is with knight to a5 then hit the bishop then of course at least get some kind of a tempo but here of course the prey range uh, line by the organizer was now to move knight to d5 and now the fun starts put your seat belts on and enjoy in this brutal brutal chess game performed here by stockfish 16. stockfish goes into the fried liver attack with knight to f7 sacrifices the piece after king to f7 we have of course this continuation queen to king queen to f3 hitting the king and of course attacking further here the knight on d5 the main line is of course king to e6 getting close to the knight defending it so far stockfish continues the pressure knight to c3 this is now the way to go we're putting more pressure against this pin knight on d5 here berserk continues with knight to b4 connects now all of these pieces keeps of course somehow the position compact in the center of the board and of course is trying also to fix the knight further with the move c6 stockfish continues with the best move kingside calcin is of course trying now to hit the center with the move d4 and to play rook to e1 of course opening up now the center c6 by play by berserk and now d4 immediately so let's stop and see different continuation because i think it's also very important for us to know sidelines not only of course to see this line that they played in the game queen to f6 was played but let's see really what happens if you play now the move e takes d4 if you play e, uh, e takes d4 then it gets very very messy here look at this bishop to d5 is actually here the best continuation after knight to d5 now we play a rook to e1 hitting the king for instance if the king calls on d6 here then the issue is this one bishop to g5 deflecting now the queen here uh getting it uh, on this square but now after knight to e4 we have here a beautiful fork the game is over i think here for black so let's go back after move bishop to g5 of course you can also cover with bishop to e7 but now comes another brilliant move rook to e7 is actually really really the most brutal way here to proceed after knight to e7 then rook to e1 continuing simply the pressure these two pieces are basically out of game you could of course maybe try something like i don't know d takes c3 but now after bishop to e7 black would love maybe even to go into sort of a line in which he has maybe two rooks and a bishop uh, for the queen but actually after queen to d3 you have to step back from the defense of the queen so this is not possible it's game over here for black so let's go here uh, um, again uh, into this moment let's see what are different opportunities of course you don't want to play d takes c3 because it of course opens up now the default what you could do is maybe here to play the move rook to f8 trying of course also to create a counterattack against the queen but now with queen to d3 you may be trying to get a new piece into the game look at this we keep the attacking flow with knight to e4 you have to step back knight to c5 hitting the bishop bishop retreats we play queen to uh, g3 if you go of course to the queen side then you're probably going to get checkmated if you play queen to d6 then of course rook to e7 is winning the game on spot so here rook to f8 is also not a good continuation for black you could maybe also try rook to e8 protecting for the knight which also makes sense but now look at this with bishop to g uh, bishop to f4 the king steps back we deliver a new check queen to b3 
Now another check and now for knight to c5, you get even checkmated by the beautiful piece activity of white. So this is really, really crazy. So let's go back. After move d4, as we said, you could maybe try e takes d4. And now after bishop to uh, d5, knight to d5 and rook to e1, you could of course also escape to d7 with your king. You don't have to play king to d6 because we have seen after bishop to g5, there was always the fourth threat of knight to e4. But then after knight to d5, c takes d5, queen to d5, you could of course of co uh, cover with the bishop. But now again, we just continue the pressure. Look at this. Bishop to f4, you're trying to connect the queen. Now we play bishop to g5. After queen to g6, now comes the stunning rook to e7. This is the spectacular continuation. Of course, you cannot take because of the pin by the queen against the bishop. And now you have to step back again the game is over uh, here for black will include of course more pieces if you play something here then always there are discoveries so this is really really spectacular continuation uh, here for white so you see after move d4 i think we have solved now all of the positional problems after e takes d4 so it's not good of course to open uh, files open diagonals in front of black king so that's why here berserk continued with so far the best move queen to f6 now stockfish continues with queen to e2 putting more pressure against also the king now in the e file by using the queen's activity we have king to e7 if you play here king to d6 as we said there is always this kind of an idea you have to be careful from black's perspective there's always maybe the possibility of the royal fork against the king and the queen so that's why king to e7 here by uh by the berserk engine of course berserk would left now to have this game simplified after queen to e5 this is something that that's of course not good here for white you don't want to trade off the queens you want to of course keep the attacking flow so that's why d takes e5 here play by stock for 16 what um, what should you do uh, here in the continuation queen to g6 stepping back we have knight to e4 by stock for 16 and now bishop to f5 and when I analyzed this game at home, I was like, okay, it seems to me that Black has played so far a solid defense because look at this, this pawn on e5 is standing in the way of the queen, so there's not a good way anymore maybe to open the e-file, but Stockfish plays here really the optimal moves, the best moves. First of all, a very interesting move f3. It seems so that this move is not doing so much because it's only protecting the knight. But the issue here for black is that you cannot play bishop to e4. That's now a huge problem because after f takes e4, now you have to step back with your knight. Now we play something like rook to f7. Look at this. And now with queen to d1 again, we're continuing the pressure. You have to step back. And now after something like, I don't know, queen to d7, this is now again checkmate here immediately. So this is not working. So what you could do uh, here instead of this move bishop to e4, what you could do is maybe here to play the move knight to b6 getting finally rid of the attack of uh, the light square bishop including maybe also a new defender into the game but again it's not working we simply step back you're trying of course to escape but now we include the rook into the attack again you try to escape and now e6 is a very very interesting choice because now the huge threat is bishop to f4 what should you do for instance if you try here rook to e8 maybe to support further uh, the potential attack against um, uh, here the pawn on e6 then bishop to f4 look at this knight to d6 you have to take rook to d6 you're trying maybe to trade it off now queen to e5 with some threats even to play i don't know here and then deliver checkmate here by using the queen and bishop's battery here so again it's a messed up game so let's go back what should you do uh here instead of this move rook to e8 you could you could of course here escape to c8 because now you're trying to get out of this mess again with your king but now again knight to d6 very tricky idea bishop to d6 6 rook to d6 you try maybe even lock now the rook now but look at this always there is this resource c4 you have to step back now we play even c5 you have to play i don't know knight to d5 then we play this one uh this is a beautiful move e6 uh e7 pardon me with the discovered attack against the queen so even if you try to i don't know to play something like queen to e8 then bishop to d5 look at this knight to d5 rook to d8 for instance is winning the game if you play here c takes d5 instead of knight to d5 then again here we have this one queen to um, uh, queen to e5 you have to step back and again we build this 
very unpleasant bishop and queen's battery on dark squares there's nothing that can be done if after a couple more moves we simply play something like this this and then maybe even deliver checkmate on c7 very 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 wild stuff so as i said that was our continuation after potential f3 so we have seen now knight to b6 not so good bishop to e4 is also not so good so nothing nothing uh, here is working so in the game berserk tried h5 maybe in order to somehow include also the rook into the defense but stockfish continues with the beautiful rook to d1 keeps now the pressure and let's see again if you try maybe now bishop to e4 is working again uh, because now of course the rook is after f6 uh, e4 not hitting anymore um, the square f7 that we have seen previously was a dangerous dangerous idea here for white but now after bishop to e4 we have f takes e4 again you have to step back but now rook to d6 comes in a spectacular way into the game you're trying maybe to escape now we play queen to uh, queen to f1 again threatening some uh, dangerous dangerous checks here even checkmates on f7 now you maybe pick up the piece here but now look at this after h3 what should you do you're trying queen to e4 now bishop comes into the game you have to step back the rook is coming into the game now the queen is coming in the, you only can cover of course with the bishop and again the game is over look at this Poof really really brutal brutal attacking flow here by stoffer 16 so you see even after rook to d1 you cannot get rid of this unpleasant knight on e4 really really wild stuff so here in the game king to e8 that's why played by uh, the berserk engine stockfish continues with c3 hits the knight knight steps back and now bishop to d5 strange idea maybe even to trade off pieces further because you want to have more pieces on the board in order to have more attacking chances but actually stockfish had this idea in mind knight to d6 this is the way to go because after bishop to d6 e takes d6 the e file gets open you have to now cover yourself but now comes the stunning queen to b5 look how stockfish is attacking you from from all uh, all sides on the board really really spectacular attack what should you do if you step back here maybe to f8 then queen to b7 is uh, of course uh, winning the game on spot so you cannot protect everything here on this side of the board so after queen to b5 here berserk try queen to d7 but now rook to e1 hitting the king where should you go with your king if you play here king to d8 the issue is of course here this one queen to d5 we attack the bishop you're trying maybe to connect it but now look at this bishop to g5 again a dangerous check rook to e7 is going to happen rook to d1 everything is working here in a beautiful way for white this is now again a beautiful attacking formation the both rooks are out of game so uh it's in my opinion again game over here for black so after move rook to e1 that's stockfish play so that's why berserk escaped to f8 stockfish continues with queen to d5 again hitting the bishop so far the bishop is protected but there's always this huge threat of uh, rook to e7 so we have here queen to f7 by berserk trying to simplify the game by trading off the queens but stockfish steps back keeps the attacking flow also has now the opportunity of course to include uh, the bishop into the game and the issue again for black is that this rook is not playing it's almost like white is playing up the exchange having two rooks and maybe uh, and this bishop against two minor pieces and the rook so this rook never participated in the game and that's exactly how you should keep the flow when you are on the attacking side never allow your opponent to get these pieces back into the game really really instructive attack here by stoffer 16 rook to e8 of course black is trying to simplify the game by trading off more pieces stoffer plays now rook takes e8 queen takes e8 bishop to d2 in order again to include a new attacker into the game now the rook from the a file we have a knight to b8 trying of course maybe something like i don't know knight to c6 knight to d7 maybe knight to f6 keeping somehow the defense progressive here trying as i said to somehow bring more defenders into the game but stockfish plays now a beautiful queen to a7 and we should not forget about also a very important thing here that maybe black can survive this attack maybe black is not going to get checkmated but we should not also forget here that Bla uh, black is only three pawns on the board white is here seven pawns on the board which is a very important thing in a potential fully endgame stage although you're up a piece here i think white has also very very nice chances to win a potential endgame so as i said now black has lost many many pawns we have to say now the b7 is also a weakness if we pick up now the pawn on b7 maybe white can also trade off the queens 
maybe even trade off the rooks and go in even into a beautiful end game so as i said many many opportunities here for white still we should not forget that the king is in danger so black is far away from solving every tactical issue here so black has to defend first in order to maybe even somehow reach the endgame stage but as i said maybe when you are playing chess sometimes we forget even about the possibility to slow down the pace of the game and then we say we had it enough we played a beautiful game we had some tactics we're satisfied let's now reach the fully end game stage and uh, seal the game so as i said we should not forget always about this kind of a position so here um, in the game uh, queen to uh, c8 was played by berserk even if you try knight to c6 as i said you're losing another pawn now there are four connected pawns here on the queen side so it's not working so this is not good after queen to a7 so that's why queen to c8 played by uh, the berserk engine we have rook to e1 including now finally the rook into the attack knight to c6 queen to a4 uh, king to f7 now queen to f4 look how stockfish is dancing with the queen all over the board the bishop is of course endangered you have to play now something like rook to h6 maybe as i said rook to f6 finally the rook is coming into the game but stockfish is saying here let's go into an end game stage i had my fun today i, I was really good i attacked you in a brutal way maybe i want to now play a calmer game i had as i said really, really my fun with with this beautiful beautiful immortal attack so after move b4 rook to f6 we have c4 no good discoveries by white are possible uh, by black are possible here bishop to d7 now we have queen to h4 keeping of course uh the attack and the problem is now here for black that you cannot even pick up now the pawn on d6 because then you get this one b5 you're trying to take we take out this one you take out this one and now with queen to f4 uh we have this fork and uh, the game is over again here for black uh, white would be up the exchange has a better king has also more pawns on the board this is simply not working really, really again nice nice traps here set up by stockfish 16 so that's why king to g8 finally black's king is somehow secured now we removed 32 the king was all over the board now it's finally i i would say maybe you cannot deliver checkmate but this was simply too much of what the poor king had to handle in this particular game after king to g8 bishop to c3 now stockfish makes another beautiful beautiful attack now there is a new target in position it's of course now the weak g7 pawn rook to e6 stockfish even traded it off as i said even if we reach somehow maybe the end game stage this is perfectly fine because we have also enough pawns on the board we have bishop to e6 b5 hitting the knight and now queen to h5 what should you do if you play here queen to c4 then the issue is this one we deliver a check another check and now after queen to e5 you cannot prevent even a checkmate threat here on g7 maybe you can survive a little bit more but uh, as i said you cannot uh, get the queen here on g4 you would love to do that because uh you would then cover the g7 score but look at this this tiny little pawn f3 is not allowing here a black queen to get back into the defense and there is even not even a good check possible here for black even not a poor check you cannot deliver no check is possible at all maybe you can play queen to f1 and then had your fun with one check but obviously losing the queen that's how stockfish is playing the game really really wild stuff so here after move queen to h5 we have bishop to c4 that's why by uh, the berserk engine but now stockfish continues with the main plan tries of course to deliver checkmate on g7 now after queen to f8 a4 stockfish continues now here the attack on this side of the board and the queen black's queen is simply paralyzed to now to the defense of the poor pawn on g7 this is really really crazy so as i said really instructive attack here by stockfish 16 bishop to e6 h4 we have queen to f7 h5 in some lines even trying uh, to play h6 putting more pressure against the pawn on g7 we have uh, king to h7 and now a5 now this pawn could be also very very dangerous here on the queen side so now the whole defense of blacks is really stretched all over the board really really beautiful and moves here by stockfish 16 bishop to c4 g4 obviously you cannot take the pawn here because you got checkmated so that's why here knight to d7 we have now the move b6 and what should you do for instance many of us i think from black's perspective would play now the move knight to f6 would try now maybe even to simplify the game trying to get again a new defender into the game but now look at this after bishop to f6 g takes f6 black 
is losing here on spot because there is a beautiful queen to g6 after queen take g6 after uh, h takes g6 king take g6 d7 is rolling so now black is losing in a beautiful beautiful endgame pattern this is also an opportunity so that's why here after move b6 by stockfish we have knight to b8 by berserk f4 we have bishop to e6 f5 hitting the bishop we have king to f2 and now stockfish is having even enough time to improve the position of the king. This is such a beautiful position that you can even dance with your king all over the board. The queen is paralyzed on f7 and when you move it, of course, you get checkmated immediately. Really, really crazy. So knight to a6. Now the only good piece that can place, of course, the knight, but the knight is just hopping there, hopping there, and uh, there's no improvement of black's position. Knight to c5. We have queen to e7, as I said. Never forget about the potential endgame. This is a beautiful move here by Stockfish. After knight takes e, uh, queen takes e7, d takes e7. We have now king to g8 and now king to f4. And now after move knight to d3 in this particular position, actually uh, the berserk engine even resigns. So what's the issue? The issue is actually here that we can play here a beautiful king to e4. You're trying maybe knight to f2. Now we attack again the knight. You're trying to step back. And now comes the winning idea a6. a6 is really, really cool here. Look at this. This would be uh, probably the continuation of this beautiful game. Unfortunately for the beauty, let's go here. Knight to d3 was the last move um, uh, that they played. But I've analyzed further the position. So probably here we are checking now the knight. The knight is trying to attack you again. We play king to f2. No good check is possible. Now we play uh, a6. And now after something like uh, b takes a6, we push the pawn further. The issue is here you allow even the check. But now you get an extra tempo by attacking the knight. And now what should, what should you do? You of course take out this one. But now of course we can... Uh, promote here if you don't react we'll simply uh, also promote now this one and whatever you do the game is over here for black so this would be obviously the winning idea so poo this was monstrous this was crazy how stockfish attacked in the fried liver attack this is beautiful beautiful attacking flow in my opinion also a very instructive game because probably someone will challenge you sometimes in the italian opening maybe they're relying that you're not familiar with the continuations the best tactics in the fried liver attack with the white pieces so i think the fried liver attack is a must no attack in the italian opening because you're probably going to play it a couple of times in your life so that's why I really love this game because it's cool, it's sharp, it's brutal, but also I think it's a very instructive game here played by Stockfish 16. So, okay, I hope that you enjoy the game. I really enjoyed it a lot. Interesting, interesting, brutal attack here by the fish. If you want to see more epic and brutal attacks like this, check out our common to chess games played by computer series. Here's the link of our playlist. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos. And what do we say in the end? Chess is the best, of course.